Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. So today, we're going to be starting a new game series here on the channel. So I'm going to play the Zero Escape trilogy. Uh, it's three different games. Um, they are made by Spike Chunsoft, which, if you didn't know, are the same people who made the Danganronpa games and the these games were recommended to me be, by someone who like knows that I love Danganronpa a lot so it, it's very similar in a sense I've never played the games I've never seen them before so it's my first time and yeah we're we're gonna get started I'm pretty excited about it yeah it, it looks really cool so let's start Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to expect with this game, so... Novel and adventure. You can switch in and out. What is this? We're on a boat? I think this game has a death game element to it like Danganronpa. I'm not 100% sure though. I'm excited nonetheless. <laughs> A loud noise startled Junpei awake, and his eyes snapped open. What? What the? As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't recognize any- I can't read that fast. <laughs> with a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself. But he found himself groping at empty air. Whoa! His balance lost, and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down to the cold, gray floor. Ouch! God damn it! Ah, what the hell? Well, they're on a boat. A bed? Ah, I fell pretty far. Was he on the top? That really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake. But it, it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. Where? Wait, it... it stopped? That's creepy. What's that sound? <laughs> five? That's... Five? What's this five mean? Ah, it won't open. What's this? Uh, is this keeping the door shut? Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! <sighs> huh? What the hell is this? A watch? He's number five. It doesn't look like one. I don't know too much about this game. I know that this one is um, 999. It's the first of the three games. It, I know it has to do with there are nine people, nine doors. That's all I know. I don't... But it looks like Junpei is number five. Five? That's... 
That's the same as the door. What? How do I take this off? You don't. <laughs> Maybe pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? I don't know, my guy. What the hell happened to me? Whoa, what was that? Ah, ah, my head. Huh. This is... Hold on. Am I on a ship? Yes. You don't know that? I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? That's What's not the... good. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Isn't that a window to the outside? What the... What the hell is going on here? What the hell? God damn it! Oh my god. Hey! Anyone! Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something! It's... it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. No, my guy. I need to find a way out and fast. Do I need to find a way out? Because I'm not very confident. Seek a way out. Um, okay, so... What do I do? Operations during an escape. During an escape, you are restricted to an area. Your goal, search around to uncover how to unlock the door. I don't know any of the, the controls, so I don't know what's going on. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Click on a location you find suspicious to search the room. Use Q or E to move around the room. Okay. Uh, water just keeps pouring through the window. It's like a waterfall. I don't think shoving something into the window is going to stop the water. In other words, if I don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. I have to figure this out. What is that? A bulletin board. Looks like someone put a note on it. Can I look at the note? I'm just here reading notes. I'm going to drown in three seconds. <laughs> Am I being timed on this? I hope not. About items. Once you've attained an item, You'll be able to go to the item screen. Clicking item on the top left will take you to the item screen. What does this mean? It's just triangles. Tab combine and search. The notes got triangles in red and triangles in blue. Okay, uh, it doesn't really help me. Investigate with an item. The item visible on the lower left is the item currently in hand. When you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in hand. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items in hand and search different places. Click the item icon or press V to quickly change between items. But I only have one. What is this? Picture frame? An old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship in it. There's screws on the keeping the back on. Okay, interesting. We could probably... Okay, so I can flip through with V. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna go out of here. Uh... I guess that's a lever, huh? Maybe if I pull it... Well, it looks like pulling on the lever just makes a weird noise. Great. The light's still red, and the display hasn't changed. Damn it. Where the hell isn't this thing opening? Uh... How do I use this again? I don't remember. How do I- can I use it? Oops, I clicked the wrong button. The only door in and out of this room is next to this weird device. How do I use it? I forgot how he's- Alright, 
Alright, uh... I can't see the bottom of the ladder. Oh man, the water's already up to the bottom of the bed. I've gotta hurry this up. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, my guy. This is the door to the stove. While it opens easily enough, sure wish the door to get out of here was that easy to open. Oh! Screwdriver. A normal screwdriver. Doesn't seem to be anything special about it. But can I... <clears throat> can I combine it with this? Well, the screwdriver got the sc screws off easily enough, and here's the picture. Picture of an old cruise liner? Okay, how does that help me at all? Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So wait, let me see. It's seven something, six something. Back to the picture. Can I look at this again, actually? Seven, four, six, three. Seven, four, six, three. What does that have to do with anything? I have no idea. Combining items. Oh yeah, I did that. I just did that. Uh, try different combinations. Things you find in your search. Oh, I just did that. I guess I'm... Can I open that? Oh, a key? Well, let's see if there's anything in here. Looks like there is. A key? Yeah, there's a little blue key in the bottom of this pot. Odd. Small key. Okay, oh... The key's pretty small. Definitely not for a door. What's it for, then? This key's blue. Is it supposed to open something else blue? I'm so confused. Okay, is... This is totally stove, nothing inside. Okay, I didn't mean to click that, I meant to click this button. Uh... Ladder... There's a pipe at the under end of the bed, there's nothing up top. I can keep looking till the cows come home, all I'm gonna find up here is that pillow. Isn't there anything else I can use? There's a blue briefcase on top of this bed. Can I open it? No dice, it's locked tight. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Alright, let's see what happens if I put the blue key... and uh, nothing. Because I'm gonna need some... Oh, so wait. Oh, mini games. During an escape, your investigation may trigger one of several mini games. All operations for the minigames are done by clicking on the screen. Some minigames will require you to manipulate something, while others only require you to apply the right object or click the right thing. Operation instructions. Clicking the dial will cause the move to move to the next number. Enter four numbers this way, then click the key. If the numbers are correct, it will unlock. Was it again? Seven... Four... No, wait. Four, six, three. Hold on, I gotta look at I gotta look at this. I need to look at the thing again. Alright, Jimpei, don't freak out. Keep it cool. Look around. I need to look at this again. Alright, it is four, three. It is yeah, it's seven, four. Six, three. So what's the issue? Is it just the blue? Zero six zero three? Maybe? And the right four numbers. Let's give it another try. That only goes up to five. Okay. Maybe if I do six three seven four. Six three. Why do I keep clicking? Weird. Alright, I have no idea. Can I No, I can't do that.
Weird. Nothing on the back. What does this mean? Uh, six, three, seven, four. Did I, I already tried that though. I'm so lost. <laughs> what? Are we sure that's the way? Maybe it's... How do I flip it upside down? Maybe it's one, eight... No, that's impossible because the other one doesn't go up to eight. Oh my god. I have to go back because I don't know. Let me open the... Oh, there's a key in there. A red key. Okay. You should probably hold on to this key. Okay. Huh. Oh, what's up with my face? I look like a zombie. Yeah, I kind of do. What the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I don't think you have time to be looking in a mirror, my guy. We're gonna. The the, the room is flooding. Work, work. Headed back to my apartment and and. I'm back! Not like anyone will respond. Okay, Mr. Debbie Downer. Uh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze? Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. Is he about to be kidnapped? I must have forgotten to close it. Yeah, he's about to be kidnapped. What? It's Monokuma. No, I'm just kidding. Who are... I... I can't... He's kidnapped, knocked out. a privilege. You have been chosen. Ooh, creepy. What is this? Squid game? You are going to participate in the game. The nonary game. The nonary game? I don't. That voice is. It's any chills down my spine. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him. Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. True. Just who was that? I mean, they're pretty short. They said, you have been chosen. He's just contemplating looking in a mirror while the, 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 he's on a boat and the window's broken and it's... The water's coming in like crazy. He's just like, yeah, I'm going to just look at myself in the mirror now. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. The nonary game. What does nonary mean? It is a game where you will put your life on the line. The nonary game? Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? God, God damn it! So I have a red key. Maybe if I go to the into here, can I? I put the key in. Now I just need the right numbers. Are you sure it's not seven, four, six, three? Seven, three, six, four. I have no idea. It's gonna be faster for me to look for clues. Plugging in random numbers is just gonna get me nowhere fast. I have to find the right number and turn the key, then that briefcase should open. Alright, we'll look for some more, but... The sink? Doesn't seem like there's anything hidden in the sink. This is the only drain in this room. 
There's nothing on top of the shelf. What is this? A bulletin board? Something on it. You can see it's the top of the bunk. It's pretty high up there. Well, I can reach this bunk. Might as well look through it. Nothing here. I can't bring myself to call this a bed. It feels like a board with a sheet on it. It's pretty flat. Oh! Memo from the bed. Can I combine this with this? Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, so this is a different one. This is... Zero... Two? Zero two... Eight... Zero two eight five. All right, let me try that. Maybe that'll work. Zero two eight. No, blue briefcase, blue, blue. Oh, wait. <clears throat> So wait, do I do just the blue ones? So this would be zero. Which one is that? Two, zero, two. I need to move this. Can I, so that it's facing the right way? <laughs> it's upside down. There we go. Okay. Zero, two, and then this one. Zero two six three zero two six three. Oh, it worked. All right, let's see if these numbers work. Turn of the key and hey, looks like it's working. Yes. All right, let's open it up. A journal. Yes, it opened. Looks like there's something in here. What is this? A file? File screen. If you find any documents or notes during an escape, the information contained in them will be available on the file screen. Press arrow to open the file screen. All right, let's see what's in this file. Digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. First, Add all the numbers in question to one another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. For instance, if you have a double digit number, add the number in the tens place, the number in the ones place. It's gonna have me do math? Get the heck out of here. That's hard math. Keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single digit answer. That final digit is your digital root. The digital root of six, seven, eight would be 15. No, that was incorrect. <laughs> six plus seven plus eight is 21. Two plus one is three. Therefore, the digital root of six, seven, eight is three. I don't like all this math. <laughs> the digital root of one, two, three, four would be one plus two plus three plus four, 10 is one. Okay, I, I'm, I'm kind of getting it now. I see. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number. Oh, looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, and a calculator. And a stack of cards. Stack of blue cards. What is this? Looks like some key cards. There's a number written on each card. Six, seven, eight. Does that mean something? Six, seven, eight. Um, new materials have been added to the file screen. Calculator. Press left arrow to open the calculator screen. Calculator can calculate a digital root, which will be important to the progression of the story. Okay. Six, seven, eight. Didn't we just do that one? Ooh. 
Uh, file, calculate, flow, what? Flow, what is that? What? There's a flow chart? Um. What am I doing now? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> From the bulletin board. Do we do the red ones now since we did blue? Can I go back? Five. What does that mean? It looks like it's about the same width as those cards I found earlier. Maybe I can slide them through here. These cards with the blue numbers on them. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. All right, let's slide these cards and see if they work. And... No. Huh? It's not working? Why? Do I need some other cards to get this to work? Shoot, I need to find more cards now. Where am I supposed to find cards? I'm lost. I am like beyond lost right now. Something left on the mirror. Where do I use- no. Where do I use the red key? I have to find a way out. That's a table. I don't see anything useful here. A pair of simple chairs. Water's already next to the chair. Yeah, we're screwed over here, my guy. A ladder. It's an old stove. I'm so confused. I'm <laughs> like, oh, it's confusion all over the place. Um, let me see. Controls, special function. Use this function to combine new items. Uh, jump to the, by using the flow chart. Okay, I don't really care about the flow chart. How do I get out of here? <laughs> what is this? What am What am I using that for? How do I find more? Look okay, if there's anything else here. What? Can I look up? Looks like we have a light here and electricity. Ladder, yeah, we've been through this. I clicked this already. Do I need the five key to open the door? How do I get the five key? What do I do with the red key? I don't... Small red key. Okay, that doesn't help me at all, my guy. Key cards 6 through 8 on them. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh, I didn't look in here. There's another briefcase in here! Just like the blue briefcase. Yes, there's one on this. And it's not opening. Okay, so we'll do the red one now. Uh, seven. Four. Seven, four, eight, five. Alright, let's do that. Seven, four, eight, five. Alright, this key... not opening yeah okay I, I get that I have to put in no why are you going back seven four okay I think I'm getting the hang of it <laughs> it's opening one two and three 
Looks like key cards. There's a number on each one. One, two, three. Okay. I can't do anything with that. <laughs> okay. It's a closet. There's one, two, three, six, seven, eight. Where's four and five? All right, let me... I'll try the other ones, I guess. On here. There aren't many more cards in here. I've only got one other hint. Of course. The files. The files is something about digital root. A digital root. A digital root, huh? What am I supposed to do with... It's a five on that door. Do I have to get a digital root of five? I'm not really sure about this. Oh, whatever. It's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll just slide the cards to give me the digital root of five through the reader. What? How am I Listen. I don't do math. <laughs> Click three cards to select them. The digital root of such cards will be displayed. Clicking reset will deselect all currently selected cards. If you selected three cards, click on the device. Okay. One, six, eight. No. One, six, seven. Alright, I think this is gonna work. Here we go. That's a new noise. Huh? Did just unlock? Well, that light was red and now it's blue. No doubt about it. There's nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, I'm trying to get out. Let me out. You found it. That took me way longer than it should have. <laughs> that took me an embarrassingly long time. Ow! Ugh, my head! Wait, is it... is it over? Whew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. Well, hey, there's still water. Than drowning, I guess. You gotta get out of there. There's still water in a coming in. Hallway? Duh, you were just in a, a cabin on a ship. It's like you're on a cruise ship. Oh. But, you know, not really a cruise ship. <laughs> a door. Another door. Damn, this water. Come on. Let me go. Oh, yes. It opened. What? Where are we? The Titanic? What the hell? <laughs> Isn't this, this is the staircase from the Titanic? This is the inside of a ship? Are we on the Titanic? Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Uh... Wait, what the hell? A oh, wave? Run, run. Oh shit, shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here! Run up the, 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 the Titanic steps. Sea deck. <laughs> B deck. Hurry. Hurry. A deck's next. What? Who are these people? Who are these people? People. A lot of people. Oh, he's one of the guys whose eyes never open. Um... Uh... Um... Yeah. I guess it's another one of us now. Yeah, a, a, a dancer? No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well, okay then. S silver hair? Huh? <laughs> one of us, huh? He's cool. I like his design. <laughs> I like the white-haired characters. What? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! 
I like how the sprites move. That's cool. That's nine of us then. Well, yeah, this game's called 999. Of course, it's gonna be nine of you. All of the cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? Well, follow them. There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Huh? Uh, huh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> ah! What was that all about? Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? Uh. The doors on A deck are no good. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Oh. Hey man, that was dangerous. Huh? Four? And this one says... Five. They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. Me too! Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Hmm. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? Open! Damn it! not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. This voice sounds familiar. Has, has that guy voice, voiced other characters before? Out of my way. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. There must be some other way. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. Why? Why? What, what is this blue stuff? What? What's happening? So that means this door is probably locked too. So the, the echoed voice, that means he's thinking. But still... <laughs> what was that blue smoke? Are there any other doors? He had scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs, next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. Oh, she's cute! It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face, because she's so cute. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he had met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Uh. Huh? Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly towards her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. As Junpei stepped onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. Yeah! The quake caught the girl unprepared, and she fell. Watch out! Moving on instinct, Junpei leapt to catch her, or so he thought. Her face was far closer than it should have been, mere inches from his own. Yeah. He was flat on his back, and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggested she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment, that seemed to stretch for a very long time. They stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship lapping faintly at the walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, a thick, muffling blanket. At least, at last, the girl opened oh her mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? 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 
Grumpy. Her words echoed through Junpei's head, and suddenly his memory returned. Uh, Akane. Oh, we got another Akane. Are they all Akane? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kurashiki. She and Junpei had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on this ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he'd thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. <laughs> he could feel his face heating up. At that moment, 